Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I wanted to go into some of the new features in version 2014. So if you click over here, and we're going to choose About, you can see the version is 2014, and let's go ahead and get started. I'll switch to full screen. Alright, so uh, one of the newest features, and one that I think is uh, pretty awesome, is transparent pen input. Let's go ahead and click on that, hit apply, and OK. Now you can see over here I have copy and paste buttons on the side of the screen. I'm going to go ahead and grab my pen, and we're going to open up Photoshop. Now I can open and close Photoshop here with gestures, as you guys can see, because I have the ultra profile running. Now, uh, what's different is that since I have control of the cursor with the trackpad mode in the past, uh, that the pen would then move the cursor. Uh, now, you can see uh, you have the ability of using gestures and the pen with pressure, of course, uh, at the same time. Uh, for a lot of you, this is going to be a huge, huge deal, being able to use the pen and gestures uh, and custom hotkeys is uh, really cool. It's one of the ones I'm the most excited about. That's called transparent pen input. I always want to call it invisible pen input. Okay, all right, so uh, you're going to want to turn this off for the next new feature that we have here. All right, so if you're inside of Photoshop and you want to use the assist pad, uh, in the past it would just disappear. And so we're going to go ahead and move over to the artist pad. We're going to hit assist. Now you notice it opened up right here instead of, instead of down here, which is where it used to open up all the time. Uh, this was okay, but it was really finicky. If you brought the cursor over here, it would disappear. Now when you have the artist pad open, if you press the assist button, you create assist button, press it, it'll open up right here. Now I have this right here set to the drag frame uh, with uh, the right click drag frame. Uh, so if I'm drawing here, uh, let's delete that, let's make a new layer on top. There we go, that looks prettier. And now I wanna use a smaller brush uh, you'll notice that this is dragging around. So what I was trying to do before, go into settings, and let's make sure that up here, transparent pen input, uh, maybe we haven't clicked apply. Okay, that's correct now. All right, make sure you hit the apply button. <laughs> okay, all right, we're gonna pick a different color. And let's make that bigger. And let's make it more transparent. And let's drop the size of that brush really low. And let's switch to a darker color. And let's bring the uh, opacity back up to 100%. Let's increase the size. So uh, what this does is this gives you an opportunity to do dynamic brush resizing uh, the easiest way I've ever found. Uh, you can change the size of this. Um, I have this set up so that I have Control, Alt, and Shift set to Tab right there in case I'm doing something that requires a little bit more uh, of a hold. Um, we did find that there's a bug on at least my Ntrig. This is a Vio Z Flip. Uh, my Ntrig uh, computer has uh, a problem where every fourth button press or letter button press is duplicating, which means if I were to do this four times, the fourth one it would open and close in the same moment, which is not doing, it's doing it perfectly right now, but uh, that's the bug, so we're trying to get that worked away. Um, anyway, so control alt shift up here, and then this is a drag frame, the dynamic brush resize tool that we had here. Uh, one thing that you want to keep in mind is if you have this off the screen and your cursor is off the screen, then this will control alt, it'll show that, but it won't change the size of the brush. Down here, 
it will change the size of the brush. So I recommend just putting this, um, if you have a hard time moving that, you can use your finger. I recommend putting that just slightly on the canvas and then the brush resize tool works really well. You can see it really well right like that. All right, uh, those are the two new big updates in version 2.0.14. Uh, the other one that I'm going to mention here, for those of you who have not seen it, um, if you go into the Layout Manager, uh, let's go ahead and close this, and you'll notice right here that there's icons in the Layout Manager. Uh, in order to do that, select a button, choose Change Button Name, and now you have an option of choosing any of these icons. These are from Font Awesome, and uh, we did go ahead and build them in directly into the uh, into the editor. Now you can see over here on my layout, uh, some of these are working and uh, a couple of them are not, and I'm not exactly sure why that is yet. Uh, but if you guys have that same problem, uh, we're not, not able to duplicate that on Takashi's end. Uh, so it may be something that we can figure out exactly where and what's going on uh, so we can fix that, and make that better as well. All right, you guys, thank you uh, for being loyal Tablet Pro users. You're awesome. We appreciate you. And um, if you have not rated the app yet in the App Store, uh, five-star ratings are always appreciated. Four-star ratings and lower, please send us a message and let us know how we can uh, meet your needs better. Uh, that is our goal. All right, until next time, take care and be creative.